Well, gradually over the last few games, we've seen the players who come back from their holidays to take part in this pre-season tournament to try and get sharp for the real stuff, which is now just around the corner. And we've got the two successful teams from the Asian Elite Cup to play in this final. Yeah, a lot of people watching on TV and certainly in this stadium, so these two sets of players should be right at it, I would imagine. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. His ability on the ball is second to none, Martin, and his teammates will be anxious to feed him that ball as much as they can. Quite a few changes for Paris Saint-Germain. Wojciech Szczesny starts in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Luke Shaw as the full-backs. Marco Verratti plays with Julian Weigel in midfield. Gareth Bale is the main striker today. This is the Arsenal lineup. We've got it down as a 4 3 3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. Paris Saint-Germain to kick off. He's given possession away here. Here's a chance to attack. Shot up! Up for grabs here. Bale. A little private game between the two of them. There's good progress with this attack. Gregor Krikowiak. Hey, he's got his shot off now. Where did the shot go? Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. They all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. But uh, he was there, right place, right time. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Paris Saint-Germain in front. Well, I just wonder who's going to make off with the trophy from this Asian competition, which has been very innovative. They've sympathised, I think, with the needs of the players. Lots of substitutions allowed. And uh, it hasn't marred the actual fact that we are playing for results here, and here we're playing for a prize, of course. Yes, we are. It's been a really well-organised tournament, and uh, the clubs that have decided to get involved, I think they wouldn't be shy of doing it again in future years. Gareth Bale. Attacking now. Baratti, and there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Come away with the ball cleaning, great tackle. Baratti. Bale! Oh, you can't get much closer. 
better than that without actually scoring. Oh, unlucky. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. Every manager wants his team to be ruthless, and that was such an opportunity. No wonder he's unhappy at that miss. Baratti. Julian Weigel. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. It goes out wide again. Bale. And they get it away. Well, that's in the remit now of the referee. Player's not encouraged to put the ball out. It's stopped because the referee says this player needs some treatment. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Let's see it again, the effort on goal from Bale. Well, a chance spurned there without question. Although a bit unlucky that the post got in the way. Mario Goetze. Bale. Great pull from Bale. They've got numbers. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. There goes Krikowiak. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. There's some potential in this move, trying to slip it through. To level it up now. Oh, oh, where do we go from here? It's level now. Well, it's impossible to call now. That was a very good finish. Top corner, top draw. Oh, absolutely brilliant strike. Couldn't have hit it any better. Good luck here, again, by the replay of the goal. This manager doesn't normally hesitate to make a substitution or a, a change in formation. I think we're going to see one here after that equaliser. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Krichowiak. Gareth Bale. Neatly intercepted. A return ball. Could be dangerous. Werner. It's a deep cross towards the back post. He must have thought he'd scored from that distance. The keeper had other ideas. Corner for Arsenal. And in it goes. Cleared away by the defender. On the attack here. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Werner. And it will be their throw. Werner. And here's a jump. Going for a tremendous moment in the cup final to go in front. Well, that's just tipped the balance, and it's going to take a huge effort, I think, to get back into this. Really couldn't miss from there. Well, the keeper.
keeper had no chance. Let's have another peek at that goal. Conceded, and they are losing at the moment. Paris Saint Germain. Mario Goetze. Julian Weigel. Here's Shaw. Played forward, a bit of trying to steer it through. Promising build up until that challenge. Julian Weigel. Steered through. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Well, there's still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. It's an excellent cross. So Arsenal get their corner. In goes the corner. Well, that's straight at the goalkeeper, and the attacking team will be annoyed with that. Gareth Bale. Well, the referee is blown for half time here with 2-1 the score. Well, they've got their noses in front. Alan, a little bit closer to getting their hands on the Asian Elite Cup. 45 minutes gone in the final. Yeah, you'd fancy them if they can defend how they have in the first half. They should be lifting that trophy. Gregor Krikovia. He's got his shot off now. Let him the shot go. Bail. There's some potential in this move. Trying to slip it through. cross towards the back post. Arsenal had a good first half. Let's see how they fare in the second half now. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Werner. He's cut that out well, well read. Gareth Bale. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Going to be his throw here. 
I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. He's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made. Yeah, and well-deserved too. A strong contender for man of the match. Looking for teammates in the middle, and they get it away. Bale. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Ball into the box came from Hector Bellerin. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Now, this is an interesting attack. The shot's on! A real miscue here. Two new players ready to come on. Let's give you a bit of news involving Juventus. It's still in the realms of speculation at the moment, but this transfer could soon be completed. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. Let's wait and see if there's any substance to them. And shoots! The 10! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. And what a strike that was. It's just arrowed into that right-hand side of the goal. And here is another angle on that goal. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and, boy, is it getting results out there. Rewind the scoreline as we restart the game. Mario Goetze, Gareth Bale, here's a chance to attack, stopped emphatically and just as well, the approach play looked very encouraging. Werner, Mario Goetze, Gareth Bale, good defending. Throw in for Paris Saint-Germain. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Chambers. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. The advantage given to Arsenal. Cut off! It's bounced back into play from the bar. And they've cut it out. It's 
supported there as he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Hector Berry. Into the attacking third. Neatly intercepted. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. And that's good support as they build this attack. If you look at the coaching manual, you don't defend. And here's the shot. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. This is now time for the change, or the changes, I should say. There are two players coming on. Jean-Christophe Bayerbeck. They've got numbers in this attack. Real chance. Wonderful save. The referee's given a corner. And they've got two players warmed up and ready to come on. Corner played into the middle. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Yeah, it's gone out of play and it will be a throw from that uh, headed clearance. Good, sir. A wonderful piece of defending from this fella. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. <laughs> Guided through. Arsenal with a sharp head. Shots on here. Off the crossbar. And back into the penalty area. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. That's a good block. Tight scenario here on the ball. Referee's had a good look and decided on what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Good challenge here. Davide Calabria. So this is the crowning of the winners receiving the Asian Elite Cup. Yeah, always a cause for celebration when you lift a cup like this and you can see the joy on their faces. So this is the crowning of the winners receiving the Asian Elite Cup. Yeah, always a cause for celebration when you lift a cup like this and you can see the joy on their faces.
have to have the team photo. And they're getting ready for it now. Yeah, one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home. There goes Krikowiak. Bale. He's got his shot off now. And in the shot go. Some potential in this move, trying to slip it through. To level it up now. It's a deep cross towards the back post. Werner. Just, I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. And shoots! 